Algebra 2, Section 2.6, this is Example 4. This is going to be evaluating a graded signature function, which is way easier than actually graphing it. So we're going to take this value, we're going to find g of 4.3. Remember from before, if we want g of 4.3, we take the 4.3 and fill in whatever's inside the parentheses down here. This is g of x, so we're going to take the 4.3 and fill it in for the x. And the x is sitting right here, so we are going to take and let me grab Oops. two of those. We want it to be 4.3 minus 5. Okay. So we filled in this 4.3 right here. And there should be two of those. So that's going to be equal to, yeah, greatest integer of 4.3 minus 5. 4.3 minus 5 is a negative 0 0.7. So we want the greatest integer that is less than or equal to a negative 0 0.7, and that would be a negative 1. That would be the smallest integer less than it. If you need to see the number line on that, you can draw a number line here. the edges on those, that's actually a number line. Okay, put some tick marks on there. We've got a zero, we've got negative one, and we've got one, and negative 0 0.7, negative 0 0.7 here, and we want the greatest integer less than or equal to what our x value is, or less than or equal to 0 0.7. Negative 0 0.7. Okay. So less than 0 0.7 would be that direction, and so we are at negative 1.